Hey, what's up guys? This is Phil Ebener with VideoSchoolOnline.com. Today I got a question from Bobby Lou Joe on YouTube about how to create a triangle, a right angle triangle, or something more obtuse with longer branches, arms of a triangle. I don't know all the technical names. And so I wanted to show you a cool way to create a triangle. So first, let's just start a new composition. And when you create a new composition, it's probably not going to show this grid like so. So when you do that, go up to View, change it to Show Grid. And this is just to help us create a perfect triangle so that the angles are what we want them. Then make sure that the Snap to Grid is checked because when we're creating our shape, it'll be easier to create a perfect triangle. And then I would start with a solid. Um, instead of using the shape tool, it's actually easier for me anyways to use a solid and then mask it with a pen tool to create that, that rectangle. And so just take that pen tool and first let's just do a uh, perfect right triangle, right angle triangle. So I'm just going to select a point up at the top, and then I'm just going to count down one, two, three, four, five, six sort of uh, squares in this grid. Then I'm going to count to the right one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you see, when I click around this area, it automatically snaps to that point. And then I'm just going to close off that triangle and now I have a great looking triangle. I can move the anchor point to wherever I want and I can now rotate this triangle you know any way that I want and that's pretty darn awesome. So then if I want to go in and make it a non right angle triangle or change the length of the legs or something like that just double click into the um, triangle and then take the ape the points and move it around so I can make one leg really long and one leg really short you know this is very helpful if you're doing a graph you can make something very obtuse or very acute and then um, you can even animate these points so say I wanted to change it so I'm just going to set a mass path animation here then move forward and repeat that keyframe and then animate it to something like um, let's see let's get in there and animate it to something like this that's kinda cool anyways we're getting too far ahead of ourselves. all you basically have to do is create a mask uh, using the pen tool and using the grid and the snap to grid feature really helps in creating a right triangle. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the question. If any of you else have questions regarding After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom, any sort of design online business questions, send them my way and I will create a video for you. See you in the next tutorial.